Hello viewers, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today in this video, we will briefly know about different types of plate boundaries. So let's begin. Our earth crust is divided into some solid and rigid pieces, which are continuously moving. All that pieces are known as plate. There are 7 major plates and 8 minor plates. These plates are mainly two types. They are continental plates and oceanic plates. The edge of a plate is known as plate margin and the area between two plates is known as plate boundary. There are three basic types of plate boundary. They are convergent plate boundary, divergent plate boundary and transform plate boundary. Let's know them one by one. Where two plates are moving apart from each other, then these two plates form a plate boundary between them, which is known as divergent plate boundary. As two plates are moving apart, a gap forms between them through which magma rises up and creates new oceanic crust. As these types of plate boundary creates new crust, that's why these types of plate boundary also known as constructive plate boundary. These types of plate boundary you can see in the mid-Atlantic Ocean. Divergence of two plates results in geographic features like oceanic ridge and falls. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are common here. If divergence occurs in the ocean between two oceanic crust, then oceanic ridge forms. You can see oceanic ridge in the Atlantic Ocean where the North American plate is moving apart from the African plate and Eurasian plates. Here we should remember that though all these plates are continental plates, but the part which are diverging, they are made of oceanic crust. This divergence creates gap between them, through which magma rises up and cools and creates mid-Atlantic oceanic ridge. But if divergence occurs in the continent and between two continental crust, then rift valley forms, which may occupy it by river or occupy it by water, which creates lakes. But if the rift valley grows deeper and drops below the sea level, then it can be occupied by sea. As an example, we can say about Red Sea Rift, which is formed due to the divergence of African plate and Arabian plate. This Red Sea Rift is occupied by ocean, and now it is well known as Red Sea. In both cases, volcanic activities and earthquakes are common. Let's know about convergence plate boundary. When two plates move towards each other, then it collides and then denser and heavier plate subducted beneath the lighter plate. The zone where one plate subducted beneath another is known as subduction zone. Here the denser plates gets melted after going some depth due to extreme heat and creates magma. As in this plate boundary, plates are being destroyed so it is known as destructive plate boundary. In the divergent plate boundary, two plates moving upwards and creates new crust. And in the convergent plate boundary that created new crust after getting old are being destroyed due to subduction. In the convergent plate boundary, volcanic eruption, earthquakes, tsunamis are very much common. And some geographical features like oceanic trench, island arc, mountain building can be seen in the convergent plate boundary. If convergence occurs between two oceanic crust, then oceanic trench creates, where comparatively denser plates goes down and due to melting creates magma, which rises up and forms volcanoes and volcanic island, which creates island arc which can be seen in the North Pacific Ocean, where Pacific plates is subducting beneath the North American plate and creates Aleutian Islands. If convergence occurs between two continental crust, then comparatively denser plates subducted under lighter plates, and the deposited materials between them gets folded and forms fold mountain. Here, volcanic eruption does not occur. The Himalayan fold mountain forms due to convergence of two continental crust that are Indian plate and Eurasian plate. And if convergence occurs between one oceanic plates and one continental plates, then oceanic plates get subducted under the continental plates as oceanic plates is denser and forms fold mountain. But here, some volcanic activity can be seen as oceanic plates are being melted due to subduction. And this fold mountain forms due to convergence of Najaka plate, which is an oceanic plate and South America plate, which is an continental plate. There are another types of plate boundary, where two plates are not moving apart or not moving towards each other, but it moves side by side or involves in sliding motion, where no construction or even no destruction occurs. These types of plate boundary is called as transform plate boundary. Due to these types of plate movement, faults and drift valley created. As an example, we can say about San Andes fault which is forms due to sliding movement of Pacific Ocean plate and North American plate. There is no evidence of volcanic eruption in the transform plate boundary, but massive earthquakes can be seen here. In the year of 1906, San Francisco earthquakes happened on the San Andes Fault. Magnitude was 7.8 and at least 3000 people died in these earthquakes. That's all for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.